Jacksonville's urban core is full of industrial looking warehouses without any character, but one building in the Riverside neighborhood is different. At first glance, Cork might seem abandoned, but the graffiti is actually the work of artists who shared studio space. Named for its location at the corner of Roselle and King, the space has become a home for local artists like Princess Rashid. Princess says Cork is more than a workplace. It's a community that inspires and motivates her. Artists to be able to work not in a vacuum because that's when we work in our studios, especially when we're working in our houses or in our garages, we're working in a, it's just us. And that's fine and you can get your work done, but just being able to pop in and pop out and seeing other artists working, it's kind of, it's, it motivates you. What I've found is that sometimes when you're in the studio space with other people, they drain you. I'm standing right here in the courtyard where you can clearly see that artists not only have an imagination for their canvases, but also for the buildings, which gives the studio a sense of pop for the rest of the Riverside neighborhood. While Princess focuses her talent on printmaking, Tony Wood, another artist at Cork, has been painting for more than 25 years. He says he discovered his love of art in grade school and has been pursuing his passion ever since. I'm almost exclusively figure and face, and that's what I love to do. And I really like to paint narrative figure, which is sort of what this piece is that's behind me. I try to have my work, even my portrait work and my face, the, my, the faces that I do have some kind of emotional resonance. Tony usually uses real life models or photo references to make his masterpieces look more lifelike. He says he wants his art to make a human connection. Well, this particular piece of art was created for a show here at um, Cork and the Yellow House, which is next door, um, that was based on Al Letson's poetical about bullying. And, and the show was uh, displayed during October, which is anti-bullying month. Well, I was a little more literal with the way I painted it because I wanted it to sort of have the full impact of emotion. I didn't want it to be subtle. Outside of special events, Cork is not open to the public, making it a well-kept secret. For many artists, the studio is a second home that gives them space to showcase their passion.